CN Spillers Week 5 Gameplay. Here we go, guys. Welcome to another Madden Ultimate Team Gameplay. We got the Week 5 for the CN Spillers here. Uh, I think we're going up against our own... They, they stole my uniforms, um, but that's fine. So, uh, while we were gone, I uh, ended up getting this Rob Gronkowski card. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. So I added him to the roster. I got him. I also got... Remember, I have the, the Giants playbook now on offense, and then I also got the St. Louis Rams defensive playbook because I've really been liking the 4-6 bear under uh, as of late, so I'm going to run some of that, um, get my problem on, and, and, and showcase some of the bear under stuff. Still got Walter Payton, uh, sweetness in the backfield here. I uh, definitely like this. I love the flexibility of this team uh, that I'm starting to put together here. This this ultimate team. I got some really good players on here now. Um, defense is still a little shaky in terms of roster, but um, the scheme's good, and I feel like if the scheme's good, it can override the fact that you don't have a great roster. Um, so, anywho. <sighs> okay. Halfback slip screen. So I run the screen out of this a lot. Um, it's pretty obvious, but it works. Can't be mad at me, right? Also, man coverage does not cover motion snap flat routes, which... Look at Chris Carter be a boss, man. Which is kind of a big deal, because now we have an instant man beater over there. So, adds another thing they have to worry about to the, def to the offense. Uh, looks like CJ... I think he's off the IR, actually, too, this week. Look at that. Um, the captain of the team making his return this week. So definitely going to try to get him involved early. Got the slot trail here. Um, shows me a cover zero look, so I'm going to motion Spiller to the left here and snap. Try to get him over the top. Uh, he gives me an easy blitz beat to read to Gronkowski, so I'm just going to take that. And uh, I really like that pickup. You now I'm having... Gronkowski, Graham, Sharp, and Carter on the field. Now I can do a lot. I got some really, I like bigger receivers. It's just my nature, but uh, anywho. There he leaves the post open. There's Sharp being, Shane Sharp being Sam Sharp. Let's see if I can't get my man CJ Spiller a carry. Track down in single back doubles. And give CJ a carry off the left edge there. Look at CJ Spiller come back big. So, I uh, really like my team as we're coming together here. But uh, definitely, I got a lot of pieces, which is kind of cool. I got a bunch of different players that I like to use. Like, I got backs for all sorts of different kinds of scenarios. I got Giovanni Bernard, uh, a good all around back, and a pa pass catching back. I got CJ Spiller, which is. In my opinion, one of the ultimate backs in the league right now. I got a rookie AP card who I like to use him in, in heavy short yardage situations. And then I got a sweetness card who's kind of my main back in, in, in situations like this. Um, kind of like short yardage running. Peyton doesn't have the speed, which is kind of sucks, but it's the way this game works. I don't, and it doesn't. I feel like he doesn't break any tackles for me. But I also have like this three tight ends set here. So that's a good user pick. That really should really probably honestly. Um I don't know how that guy was able to user pick me, but he was, so Alright, here I'm gonna set my depth chart up real quick. I don't have my roster saved. Uh, okay, I don't have anything done on this depth chart. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to come out and run LB Dogs to start the game. I like to use your Mingo. Uh, shout out to Ryan Dykes at what he does. Uh, I know I'm assigned as a tight end here. Oh, stand all over that one. But I, I kind of want to get something going with my 
depth chart. I'm gonna go ahead and take um, put Connor here, put Irving there, so that I can have someone to sub. It's like put Bailey here, Chapman here, Guion. Oh my gosh. All right, so here's just gonna run some max coverage. Uh, D got no depth chart at all right now. I set my defense up for like a 155. Really didn't have the D for that either. Because uh, all my guys are hurt. That's the way it goes. So anyway, I gotta get the step track finished out here. Put Nichols there. I really don't want to put um, that guy there. Um, Mingo's in the middle. All right, this won't be too bad. All right, start out. Give him just a basic uh, two-man under look here. I'm responsible for the slot. And uh, we're going to send right edge pressure. Basic run there. I pro Who is the quarter? Is that Romo? That is Romo. Yeah, I didn't think he would run read option. I thought that was... Uh, I didn't think you would have the... I just really did not foresee a read option there. Oh, they got the 3D ends. That's interesting. Alright, here... I, I, like, I still like that two-man under look for what he's got here. I just need to remember to option play quarterback. There's a counter run. That's probably the one thing about the bear under is it's not as good against the counter run out of split. Which is okay. I mean, it's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, here, I really like the LB dogs. For this situation right here. I just need to remember I'm on the tight end. Other than that we should have everything locked. There we go. So. Decent, decent defense. I got a good look at what he's doing. Offense. I threw that stupid interception. Um, really I. There's no reason he should have been able to intercept that ball. Um, but this is the way the game goes sometimes. All right, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna get my roster set up for the slot trail. Want Graham here, Sharp here. There we go. The beauty of this offense, of uh, the beauty of the way I got my depth chart or the players I've got is I got like everybody's like six six. Like I got like seven six foot five guys. <laughs> So I really like that about this team. There's CJ Spiller being a monster, turning, 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 uh, getting something out of nothing right there. MBD. I just need to score like this, this drive, and I'll be all right. I'm gonna go ahead and put Sharp on the right side by his lonesome. So I can have Carter's route running on the inside. Still have Gronk right there being Gronk. So this is a pretty good setup here. That I don't even know what he ran there. That's one of those defenses that like you never see it. And so it actually could have some success against you. But I think it was like a corner roll or something stupid like that. But whatever. Looks like he's gonna stay with it, so we'll just hit the flats. CJ Spiller, I think he's, I think his ankle is still a little tender. Normally he'll break that for me, but fortunately he did not there. Check that out. You see that? See that little glitchy thing right there? Well, uh, that's something unique about this playbook, um, and it, it has to do with putting a tight end over there. Whenever they flip the, whenever the defense changes their play, that happens. That little animation here. This is actually really good. Uh, it's pretty effective in my opinion because against man coverage, as you'll see here, it just gets a really good snapback. So, 
I really like that about this play. There's really nothing. The beauty of this is, again, see, it just flips that. That flips that assignment, which is pretty cute. You know, it's not it's not super great, but it's all right. Oh, Kaepernick. Kaepernick. So, as I'm bragging about me being cute, I get greedy, throw one over the top, and Kaepernick just literally, like, threw it into next century over C.J. Spiller's head. Playing the shoe boxers here. Uh, all right. So coming out into shotgun doubles here. We got curl routes for days. Um, one thing is I sometimes forget to do in LB dogs is man aligning and shade, but I don't know if it would have done anything there. Here I'm gonna go to a max coverage. Oh my gosh, or I'm just going to run off sides because this game sucks. That's retarded. Like, there's nothing more demoralizing than when you go off sides. Ugh. So I'm still going to run that max coverage D, though. Read option. I think he's running QB wrap. I don't think that's read option. Which really would piss me off if it's if he's getting that good of game with uh, QB wrap and Tony Romo. Alright, so here I know I'm responsible for Finley. And, of course, I got clicked off at the snap of the ball. And, like I said, a man 25, you make one mistake, that's 15 yards. Every single time, no matter what. It doesn't matter what you call. You make a mistake in your setup, you get clicked off, you're screwed. You might as well just hand him a touchdown. We're freaking tarted. All right, so what he's been doing, I like this cover three call. There's a purple zone. And, of course, you can't tackle because of the, the tackle glitch on the outside. That's why you guys run up the sidelines in this game because you can't tackle on the outside. And a little screen there. Go ahead and call timeout here. Try to get the ball back. I called the wrong play, so now I'm going to definitely be screwed. This is retarded. Really, I'm done playing games in this game. This game sucks, guys. I'm, I mean, it doesn't suck, but it really can piss you off. You make one bad play call, and you're screwed. It really gets on my nerves sometimes. I, offensively, you could call the wrong play and be fine. Defensively, you call the wrong play, you're screwed. Please pick the ball off. Oh my gosh, of course. Of course. His guy picks the ball through my guy. My guy can't catch the ball even when you throw it right at him. That's retarded. Ah, uh, I wish I was in the actual 4-6 playbook right now. Um, Some of you guys may know what I'm about to run. But, I really don't care. Oh gosh. Thank you. So, right there, I just got completely effed up on my actual coverage setup. But luckily, I'm going to get out of this with two timeouts and enough time to go down and get a field goal and really go into half down by one score. When I should have definitely, with the ugly, ugly two interceptions on the first two drives, I should be down by 14. Now I'll have a really good shot at going into half down, um, probably down either six or three. Ooh. 
tough day so far for the CN Spillers facing some adversity. But the defense is holding up. Please be cover zero. Kaepernick's got a cannon. Come on, Chris Carter. Another pick? Are you kidding me? My gosh. Really pisses me off, man. I practiced that route all day. <sighs> Literally, just call two men under. Call it a day. Call two men under. I'm done. Watch me win now. Just basic two men under. That's all it takes in this game. QB wrap. Nope, HP base. That's fine. I think he's got spiller as well. Uh, since he hasn't really been testing the left side of the field, I'm just gonna... I pass committed, but, yeah. And Tony Romo was just like, hey. Eh. That is retarded, man. Golly. But, um, I'm gonna run two men under. I'm gonna set up a blitz right side. Basically. And there's your QB rep. Oh, my gosh. What is what in the world is he even running? I don't even know what the play is. Mingo's gonna save the day. I don't even know what he's running. That's not halfback base, but yet it looks like halfback base. But he has like a read option out of it. It's really on my nerves now. His whole offense is on my nerves. His defense is on my nerves. You're running two men under every play, but for some reason, my route that's supposed to torch two men under does not torch two men under. So. I'm right there on the tight end. Uh, chalk it up to the BS of Madden 25 for you. It's going to be a long game. I don't think we've lost yet on this stupid thing, but I can't believe that. He ran He ran the play stick. Who runs the play stick? I'll put my stick somewhere. Gosh, it's ridiculous. Go. Go. Are you can't use the fall down. I was hoping that's what happened. At least I still got two timeouts. I'll get a field goal out of this, but man, that pisses me off. I thought I'd get. Oh my gosh. Well, at least, I, at least it's still only a two-possession game. But dang, gone. Ninety-nine pissed off right now. Golly. So here we're gonna get some quarters. Probably gonna be able to hit this out route. Yeah, I hit the out. Just take what the defense gives you here. Uh, you can take... Three, it takes three seconds to throw an out route. Um, it takes about five seconds to throw this deep corner route. So if they're actually going to give me the out route, that's six seconds and I'm there. So it's... I think they're going to give it to me again. Buck bring back just in case. Yep, out route. Like I said, three right at three, four seconds to take it. And now we have one shot one opportunity uh, for a bomb and then if that's not open then we're gonna throw it away I swear, if he would have picked that off, I would have shot myself. I shouldn't have thrown. I mean, I should have thrown that. That's the right read. It's just I'm. For some reason, this guy's got a, gl a glitch. D. I don't know what's going on. Because in practice mode against Kyra three, that works, but not in Madden twenty five. I don't know. And I missed the field goal. Yay! Because <laughs> my kicker sucks. Ah. <sighs> That's one thing you gotta do with Ultimate Team. You gotta get a kicker. Mingo! Whoop -a -boo. And then don't tackle on the sidelines because it's Madden 25! Yay! Fix this, Madden 25. Fix this, BS, please. Why would. I swear, if I hear one more word about someone talking about Madden 25's improved pursuit angles. Oh my gosh. 
How do you miss an extra point? How do you even do that? You're that bad, buddy. So down three scores. Now I can't score. No matter what I do. Please fall down again, Havili. I want you to. I mean, literally, all this guy has to do is play quarter three deep or something. Don't have time. I mean, 346, so mathematically, you got to score, like, at least twice before the fourth if you want to win this game. Oh, my gosh. My controller's effed up. Right there, my controller. Like I was trying to, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna explain it. It's not even worth it. We got 10 yards. Whatever. Cover three. Oh my gosh! I got tackled by my own offensive lineman. This is retarded. Uh, the C and Spillers <laughs> having a bad day. He's making some decent adjustments. I'll give him credit. I'm just going to sit here because I don't really care anymore. Kaepernick, you bastard. Golly, bro. Get off the field. Put this dang kicker in. Yeah, get off the field. You're garbage. Holy cow. Who is this guy? I got Randall Cunningham. Wow. Why the heck would I play Kaepernick? I got Randall coming, Cunningham. Can't even say his name, but I got him on my team. Uh, why is Riley Cooper in the game? I don't even know I had him on my team. Randall Cunningham comes out and throws dots. That's what's secret. That's what we needed. Is this going to be a, a future quarterback controversy? If, if Randall Cunningham gets a job done today? Will it be a quarterback controversy in, in the Buffalo land of CN Spillers? Who knows? Slot trail. Riley Cooper. Is there a potential wide receiver controversy? <sighs> Got to get this score like like right this play. Like this play right here. Touchdown. Come on. I swear. Why is it? Uh, we're going to keep Cunningham in the game and see what he can do because Kaepernick has not been the answer to this point. But we need a score. Two quarterback spies. Watch this, guys. Boom! Cunningham. Okay, that's it. Halfback draw. I ain't got time for this. I mean, he's literally just robbing what, two men under, three quarterback spies, and user in the middle. The seat and spillers are going to get stuffed on the goal line. If I don't get this conversion here, this game's over. Oh my gosh. You have got to be... I swear, I don't even know why I even practice. I, uh, why do I even go into practice mode? Like, that is retarded. I swear, please give me a safety. Please. Pick the ball. Ugh. Slant route. Of all routes, you run a slant. Retarded man. Roommate left the door unlocked, so I guess I'm gonna get walked in on yelling at the screen at 7:30 in the morning. <sighs> Looks like we're about to suffer our first loss. Oh my gosh! Fumble the ball. <sighs> this game's over. Ain't nothing I can do. I don't even know why I go into practice mode. This is garbage. This is I got so robbed. Read option. I mean, we all know pistol. Fumble the ball, please. Gotta call timeouts now. We gotta get the ball back. 
Whatever I can do to get the ball back, really, is all this is. Uh, here we go. QB wrap. Romo running on me for 25 yards. Dog on it. Third nine. Uh, we'll go LB Dogs three. And we're probably gonna get that stupid play stick here. Please be a false start. I need that one. Third and fourteen here. If I can't get off the field, then I should just quit. I'll bet you it's three verticals, I swear. Three verticals is going to the, the ultimate play. Yep. <laughs> Gosh. You know how many times he's thrown a sh I don't even know why I play this game anymore. This is retarded. Literally, I'm getting embarrassed. Right now. That. Tony Romo, you should have been sacked on that play. Like, that's the BS I'm talking about. I spend 25 minutes trying to find the blitz that gets in against play action when they block everybody. I call the blitz. This guy probably ain't never even been into practice mode. Oh my gosh. I don't know. This, this guy play a lot better than this. That's for sure. We ain't going to get to the playoffs like this. That's a pathetic performance by the Seed and Spillers. Literally like awful. Awful game. Awful game. Started out fine through the pick on the first down. Why is Graham Harrell in the game? I mean, there's literally probably a negative 12 chance of us winning this game. <sighs> Try to salvage it, put some stats on the board for the fans at home. I cannot believe I just got my butt whooped. And I still have Graham Harrell in the game. I don't even want him in the game. I put Randall Cunningham in the game. Well, it looks like Graham Harrell's throwing dots, though. So. I don't know. The, the, uh, what happened on the red zone last time, and this is why I was really pissed about it, was the route to, to X on this play is supposed to cut inside. And basically act like an in route on the red zone. And he just stopped on that one play. So that's what really pissed me off. Not to mention the fact that he was blitzing one person and stopped a quarterback and stopped a halfback draw. That also really pissed me off too. I'm not going to lie. Try and salvage the game here, Graham Harrell. Horrible. Horrible. Like, literally, I have never played so bad in my life. It must be because I'm tired. I don't know. This is pathetic. Let's run some more. Let's run some more trips. Tight end stick. I bet that's gonna help you out a lot more. Uh, I gotta take a look at this. This is ridiculous. I I don't even want to watch this game. All right. Probably just gonna run milk clock. I mean, why not? You know, you're only up by 24, 
22. I can't do math. That's probably what's wrong with me. <sighs> Son of a buck. Like that. That's what should be happening the whole game. But. Like. Because he's running slant routes. Psst, stupid game. But of course it waits till like the last five seconds to really matter. Oh my. Why? Why? You. Seriously. Oh my gosh. How can you not get any. Dang it. Huh. Mind blown. Can we get a fumble, please? Please. Oh my gosh. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Played so bad. This is what happens. <laughs> so garbage, man. I even... <sighs> can't believe that this guy scored 28 points. Should I stick with the 155, I guess. I don't know. I mean, literally, I don't even have. Look at this. I can't substitute any D linemen, and you know why? Because I don't have any. <sighs> ah, this is just being rude. But I'm sure he'll get it. Look at that! The Sea and Spillers got a nice little positive outlook on life now that we scored 14 points. Seven of which was the defense. Kaepernick got knocked out. Randall Cunningham tried to salvage the game. Walter Payton still can't... I don't even know. I'm, I'm cutting him after this game. That's ridiculous. He's Walter Effin Payton, and he plays like this. Gosh... Please give me a hit stick fumble. Stop right there, ball. Dang it. Alright, we got a whole two minutes. If he throws another pick, we might be in business. I doubt he's going to put the ball in the air. You gotta be kidding me. Tony Romo, I'm... I, come on, man. That's what happens when you run read option with Tony Romo. Ball. Oh my gosh. So he fumbles the ball and then he recovers it for a first down. That's exactly what we needed. Oh my gosh. Tony Romo. See what he does here. I'm kind of interested to see if he's gonna run it or if he's gonna throw it. Pick 
pick. Oh my gosh, you gotta be son of a buck, man. Story of this game. Are you son of a... Good spin move. Oh my gosh. Well, I wonder who's going to come in for him. Got nobody on the defensive line that can sub in. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to this guy. He played a good game, but... I don't know. I still think the... I still think my team is better than what we played. Can't tackle. We got people in the backfield at every play. Just can't tackle him. You know, we got people standing there for the pick, but they can't catch it. His guys, I literally threw at his guys once, and he caught it. The other two times, he just, like, made ridiculous plays on the ball. The one where he was, like, standing through my guy, picked it. Gosh, and of course, how do you throw that? How do you even get that ball off? Alright, so the patent, the best playing football. So, a good game by him, guys. This is this is week five uh, gameplay. Obviously, you know, it's a loss. He and Spielberg can go back to the drawing board, see what we can throw out for next game. But uh, definitely got to take a look at this roster and maybe see if we can get some trades or something, get some defensive linemen because. We are really not looking that great defensively. Good game by this guy. See you guys next week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, probably comical out of this. Got something comical out of it. If you want to learn, if you want to learn from my mistakes, um, you, I got a little too caught up with being really aggressive defensively. I also got too caught up with on offense, not taking what the defense gave me. I was trying to force some stuff. So um, be patient. That's the number one tip from today. Thanks for watching, guys. See you, see you next week.